uh, uh resume recording okay there, there we go that was weird i didn't know you could pause recordings like that yeah you can so oh, I'm, just, back here. Just I'm, I'm going to uh, try to see how lazy he I can be, guys, and try to put all of my videos and ads into to screen share. So if this looks a little off, I apologize. But I'm trying to like you know uh, until OBS and Zoom can get shit settled because I try to get another uh, uh, um, older version of zoom to fix the, the the issue but that didn't uh that link went away so whatever but let's let's see if these uh video share things work the way they're supposed to today's episode is brought to, to you by the great people over at grow generation so let's see if this works yay <laughs> Welcome to the show. Today's episode is proudly sponsored by Grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. More on them in a bit. And welcome to LR Mornings. Uh, it's fr Friday. It's the end of the week. And uh, uh, that means there's going to be a lot to talk about. <laughs> Yeah. This this weekend and and Monday, uh, especially Mortal Kombat out today. Uh, Manny's been hyping that up. You guys uh, uh, check out a little bit of a spoiler free talk yesterday, and we will definitely have a spoiler filled segment on Monday. Uh, Falcon Winter Soldier hit Manny. I know you you got to watch that at a, at a comf comfortable midnight. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, funny because all you guys are East Coast and then yeah. other countries. <laughs> <laughs> and and Nick and and Jam are stuck in the middle, uh, in the the mountain time time zone somewhere. I think They're or Central some Time Zone, zone type of yeah. Thing. And part of America, no one talks about. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, a lot of anime hit hit. Uh, I know uh, anime versal reviews. Uh, you guys know hits on Saturdays right now because of uh. Dr. Stone, uh, that which was was fun. Uh, looking forward to my Dino Xenon from the uh, Gr Gridman universe today. Uh, and I'm seeing Mortal Kombat shortly after this uh, video slash podcast goes up. So yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, uh, of course, stay, stay here for this this episode. But definitely join us for some uh, spoiler talk on on monday um let me silence my phone which you know pros usually do beforehand hand <laughs> <laughs> manny uh let's i i'm interested man just kind of like an initial like spoiler free take on uh uh falcon and winter soldiers uh f final episode uh are you excited for what comes next are you okay with how it ended what do you think um uh, just without giving too much away, I was kind of bored by it. It's, it's not, well, it didn't feel like a finale. As, as a matter of fact, I went back and, and it's like, wait, there's, are you sure there's not one more or something like that? It, I, I think that while through the first five episodes, a lot of things were, were very well developed, the payoff uh, did not fit the bill. Um, and then I think the thing I was most disappointed with uh, is. Um, I felt like Marvel Studios didn't uh, uh, didn't feel like their fans were smart enough to realize the message that they were trying to put across. When I, I thought it was well developed through um, yeah. um, Isaiah, uh, Sam, and even Bucky and, and, and their interactions. And even, I mean, even Zemo kind of helped out mm -hmm. to some degree in, in, um, in their conversations. But then also... Oh, the antagonist, I forgot her name. Um Power uh Power no, it's not, not Power Broker. What's the girl's name? Um uh, I'm still Kelly right? Ka Carly Carly. Carly, Carly, thank you. Uh even through horror, of course. Uh I was like I was like, this is being well I, I like it. This is so this is yeah. you know, it's it's of our time. It's what Sam Wilson should because Captain America should always um reflect the 
the people of the time, not the government. So I, I was very happy that Disney was able to do that. Like that's this is what <clears throat> this is what most of American people are kind of feeling at the moment, especially because of um, you know they feel conflict with, with resolutions when it comes to police and and when it comes to the actual presidency to the state. And, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I, I think it, it did well, but then with the last episode. Uh, there, there's this whole segment there where I felt like it was all explained to me because I didn't get it. <laughs> Anime style. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, what? And, and it, um, I think it took away, I think it took a lot away from, from the respect I had for it overall. And uh, I don't, I don't really feel like it's a spoiler because we, if you've been watching it already, you've already known that Sam was going to get a new suit. Yes. Plus it's been all over, um, uh, internet yeah we won't uh, show the suit but you guys I, know I, he's thought, getting new. I thought the reveal was wasted it, it, it's a big moment and usually for new suits you you, you really want to you know just throw it off a little bit you know you do it every time with an iron man suit every damn suit he ever wears you just do this panning thing and he's all like it's all getting on whatever so cool it's great i love it but this it, it, i just it, he just showed up and it was like he starts fighting I'm like, hey, can I can I appreciate the suit real quick? This is a big moment. This is Sam Wilson uh, as Captain America, you know, uh, Black Captain America or African American Captain America. Let's let's appreciate it and let's enjoy it. It's a, it's a I thought it was a cool suit. It is. Um, <laughs> and I thought it was just like kind of um, set aside. And there were they, I felt like they were more worried for that episode about the social commentary than the actual the actual wrapping up of character development you know um i'm not i'm not gonna lie i i definitely enjoyed it more more than uh you did apparently apparently uh i like the reveal i kind of look at sam as uh in that soldier military mentality where he's not looking for for flashy so like get down down to to business i i kind of liked that that's how i took it but i could see how other people could take it differently which speaks to you know the the wide uh uh wide variety of of ways people do do take the things just in, in general and and you know relate to to the same uh to the same thing you know um but i i will definitely agree that uh Marvel over explained uh their message that was to to me pretty clear throughout this series, mm -hmm. like you said. But I, I will say by evidence on, on Twitter and, and some uh forums and thread threads out there, there are a lot of people that were watching this show that completely missed <laughs> missed <laughs> things. <laughs> And I'm talking on, I I'm talking from like the the mo most d die hard. Uh uh uh, I hate uh uh change. Let's go go back to to you know, uh 1950 to the to the um I hate uh America. I I wish uh Falcon and Winter Soldier would be anti anti America -Amer like across that whole spectrum. People were left like, my message isn't the the prominent one. I'm done with this show, or or misunderstanding that parts of their messages or parts of their stories and are are in there. And you guys are just so, you know, narrow focused on needing it right there in in front of you. That uh um, I could see where where. Maybe Marvel hedged their bets. <laughs> they were like, "We're gonna do this really good, but just in case, at the end, <laughs> we're gonna be so popular because with with uh, you know social justice people and whatever." Yeah. And I was like, "You guys did. You guys, it was fine, and you, you guys are doing a good job." And then at the end, you guys, you guys didn't give. It. But <laughs> you know, the the way you explain it to me right now, I'm like, "Oh God." <laughs> 
these people are allowed to vote also <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> um uh at lrm underscore emmanuel <laughs> hey that's fine man you know if it's that kind of person i gotta argue with it's gonna be a short it's gonna be a short one <laughs> check out this block <laughs> yeah. um uh, it's it's definitely uh got some some uh moments in it where even i i can agree with you where uh b besides that ex over explanation like you said it's almost like anime exposition style and um besides that there there were a couple things that still caught me by surprise which was nice and a c couple things where i was like yeah yeah whatever like you know um uh, I definitely, I have not watched WandaVision again all the way through. We watched each episode twice. Uh, usually what I try to do for, for work is watch an episode for something that I'm going to review is watch it without notes, like just sit down and watch. And then I'll go back and rewatch for, for notes. But, um, this, I actually want to go back and like try to watch it all like in a weekend and see how it feels put all all t together um um yeah so so overall as far as the the whole series uh what would you give it as as a, a grade on our abc scale scale a little tough man because the whole meat of it's actually really good mm -hmm. um I, I think that one division also had the same problem where it developed very well and then it just fell flat at the end. Uh, I, 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 my, my daughter and I both went after the, the finale for one division because uh, we got up real early for it. Mm -hmm. We just like we didn't even we didn't even say to each other. We just looked at each other, turned it off, and went back to bed. <laughs> oh God! <clears throat> yeah. Um. Um. I'm going to and th so the prob the problem with grading Marvel. Is that some of their series I feel hit very, I mean, not series, films and everything mm. hit, you know, just the right notes. And then, um, so their, their scale, their, their, their expectations are higher than what, than what it would regularly be. Ah, uh, I'm going to. I'll say that this. I'll give it a B plus, solid B plus, maybe an A minus on on rewatch. Um, I, can't, I can't give it an A. There's no way. Yeah, maybe I, you know, but I think a B plus is a good score for it from from it's me. Disrespectful for the other things from Marvel that are an A. I, uh, I, I can see um, that. that. I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B minus. Okay. And and this is, you know, what's what's funny is. Um, We've gotten to the point because, like you, 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 you mentioned something specific. You know, you almost come to expect a certain, you know, thing from Marvel, and right. if it doesn't hit that that mark, you, you almost excuse me, you you almost judge it more, more harshly than you would something um, of the same quality, but under a different brand mm. or you know a different I, IP. Um, but we've, we've almost gotten to, to the point now where people seem to look at a, at a movie that gets like a 70 to 75, which is a C, you know, they look at that as like bad. And, and to me, uh, I, I used to look at C as like my, my boring grade, <laughs> like that, that's where I would put movies that weren't necessarily bad. But then I started realizing like how b bad boring is <laughs> in and of itself. Like even if it's got, say, a, a a good cinematography or a good story, if it's not doesn't look good or doesn't sound good or doesn't get told right by the right people, it sucks. It's boring. Um, and I I, I think that whole C group of it's okay. Uh, we need to bring that back. You know, there's there are movies that are out there. It's like it's okay. I could I could wa watch. This is the end. I don't usually like Apatow's group, but that's di this is the end is completely different than normal Seth Rogen stuff. Uh, with enough of their normal 
things that f fans still liked, but it was different enough for, for me. Um, that's an okay movie. Like, I could wa watch it. I'd give it a C, you know? Oh. So when you rate something in the, in the Bs, people are so used to C being like, oh, that's gar garbage. <laughs> like, uh, a B is a good grade. Like, that's – and as, especially when you're trying to, like you said, rank Marvel. Yeah. It, and it, it's a little tougher for me also just because I'm uh, – I, I'd say that in the last year my, my movie palette has grown. I uh, mm -hmm. do a lot more research on, on you know, behind the scene things. And, <clears throat> and uh, I've been kind of looking in a lot more into cinematography. And then just so like I, the lens I look at it is a, it's a lot more, yeah. Uh, sometimes annoying <laughs> because it's, you know things that <clears throat> things that I don't necessarily want to see, but once you see, you're like ah. Um, but you know it. Uh, I I don't I don't often think people should people you know if you want a recommendation, what do these people think about a film? Great, but at the end of the day, you know, you know fuck whatever we say, whatever. Rotten Tomato says, anyone says, if you want to go watch it, go and go watch yeah. it. And and and, uh, and if you like it and nobody else did, that's okay. <laughs> that's absolutely okay. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't, I just don't, I just feel like an, if, if I'm saying a film is an A, then, then, you know, there's, there better be little flaws in it. They just, yeah. you know, this better almost be award worthy, uh, you know, to some degree. Although I will say that I, I've given, for example, the season two of The Boys <clears throat> was was a series I think um, Gig and Nancy and I, we all three of us gave it A's. Mm -hmm. It's because it was relevant to the topic. Mm -hmm. it, it stayed focused to what it's supposed to be and, and all the characters were what they should be according to season one. Mm -hmm. And it, it was elevated from season one. And so we, we felt the right to give it an A. Um, I, I, you know, it was very, very well done. And, and then, uh, on contrast to when you and I did, uh, Cobra Kai this latest season, as entertaining as it might've been, it was not at the level of season one or two. So we had, we, I had to, I had to be a lot harsher with it, which was, yep. I was like, Hey, sorry, man, but this is, the, this is what you gave me before. And this is what, this is what you have now. So, um, with that, with that said, I'm glad that we got a, an in-depth Sam Wilson story um, more than anything else. I, I, I've never really been that interested in, in the Winter Soldier. I never found that character to be necessarily interesting, even in comics. Uh, so <clears throat> it, it, it was nice to almost see him not as the lead role in this and, and just focusing much on Sam. But I did really appreciate Something that that uh, I don't I, I talk about with Nick on the Marvel podcast, and um, that's how ridiculously authentic um, they're being with uh, how how s most service service members are with their their uh, reactions to to war, reactions to social events, reactions to um uh the idea of america versus uh the american people versus the american government like they they were more realistic in all of that in a and, and their portrayal of of ptsd and 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 uh uh trauma uh uh coping and resiliency and the idea of resiliency which i loved actually came through in this sh show um they uh they were more authentic than almost every single ho hollywood drama on similar topics i've ever seen because every t time trauma in military and and ptsd is brought up all of us are drug addicts and murderers by the you know end of the second yeah. act <laughs> and while that happens um it's not all all there is um but uh it's like in in 2005 and 6 all the the movies that were coming out where all of the uh soldiers were apparently disgruntled and mad and angry mm -hmm. and you know and trying to get out and I was like no <laughs> but uh 
I I did appreciate them touching on a, a lot of that and fuck dude I love the Russos but Cherry was fucking garbage <laughs> and <laughs> and uh uh it's because all of that's already been done guys I mean all of that look at um uh what is it uh um dead dead presidents uh the one with the Vietnam vets uh african american vietnam vets that come back uh they are you know shell shock ptsd i can't remember if they had a different tie name for it uh in vietnam at the at the moment um they you know they turn to drugs there's like a bank robbery afterwards <laughs> i i think that i think that's the name of it um it's it's a it's a topic that's been covered about service members for forever in in cinema but always at least since you know Vietnam, always in that light, and so it was nice to see uh, a realistic uh, um, look at the actual c common s symptoms and the c common dealing with with it. Um, I don't, I I can't wait to talk about J John Walker. I'm I'm gonna say that I I looked at my wife. I said some people are not gonna like this. I, I love it because it's so. John John Walker in this show, guys, is a soldier. I'm just gonna say that a uh, hundred and and ten ten percent. And just like every human being from from Sam Wilson to you you and me are flawed. Walker's flawed, but they do things with him that are very very legit and real realistic. And I loved. It. Love that aspect. Isn't that crazy? It, it's interesting because, uh, and, and it shows the diversity of the film because you're looking at it from the lens of, of, a, mm -hmm. of a recovering soldier and, and finding, um, you know, finding uh, something to empathize with. And I'm seeing it from the aspect of a minority yep. and, and, and having the rise of a hero. Although I will say, man, <clears throat> uh, so, something that grinds my gears and more and more as, as time goes on is um, really the, the lack of Hispanic representation in both DC and Marvel and just in superheroes in general. Uh, and, and it's a topic that I've actually been able to talk with a couple of people who, who play gangsters and play the typical um, Sicario or, or um, narco role and, and how it's been sensationalized to, to, to what, we, you know how pirates have been, mm -hmm. and, and now they're they're right at Disney, right? But if you really think about it, they're horrible people, terrible people, and but but now they're you know they're they're romanticized to the to the point where you know it, it seemed as a great adventure, and yeah. thanks to thanks to uh, different series and stories, that's how narcos narcos are are taken like El Chapo or Pablo Escobar, where they're seen almost. I I see them in the same light. And because of that, um, the role of a Hispanic, a Latino in Hollywood has been really limited to that. And um, I, I feel like we need we, we need to rise above that. I'm I'm waiting for our <clears throat> Sam Wilson or uh, you know uh, um, T'Challa to, to be able to have that that representation, right? And um, and but for for now we we have to just kind of with with the fact that of uh, being happy that uh you know no longer a white guy who's who's captain america for now uh no offense kyle we've had a lot of white <laughs> why would that be a <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we need some color man uh, because... let me let me ask this because you're a big big fan of comics you speak to a lot of creators and and stuff like that and one of the biggest biggest conversations in comic book movies with representation is race swapping characters mm -hmm. and uh i'm i've grown over time as mo movies have where i've seen okay in this instance i get it perfectly works don't give a shit this instance over here maybe not not so much maybe people have a a right to be upset over a gender or or, or race swap it's all situational but one thing i've always stood firm firm on is that um, being content with uh, race and, and gender swapping 
allows Hollywood to, to avoid re responsibility and uh, kind of take the easy road out when it comes to either uh, pushing new IPs, even within Marvel and, and, and DC, because there are Hispanic, Asian, uh, other African American, other African uh, uh, Caribbean, Native American, or or uh, let's go go with uh, Indigenous peoples because there's even some Native Canadian peoples there uh, in the, in the comics, um, but we don't see them all coming over to the to the movie side. What is what is your take? I've always said you know bring those characters that already exist up for, first, and then encouraging more creation of di diverse characters what's what is what is your take on on that situation of of getting new characters and the idea of of race and gender swapping you no know, the, the, i think the issue is uh hollywood was it's just so stuck on you know the base characters mm -hmm. because they they feel that by the numbers it's all better um and and i get it you know Superman's always like for me. Superman always has to be a white guy because it's just who he is. He's he's uh, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain of like if they tried to make him uh, like a Hispanic to be <laughs> uh, you know to be cool or whatever that'd be that'd be horrible. But th there's there are instances like for example I was very excited when um was it and Andy um uh, Muschietti. Mm -hmm. Uh, announced that uh, Sasha Kaye was going to play Supergirl. Yes, uh, because you don't you don't need to you don't need a specific race necessarily mm -hmm. to to be Superman's cousin. Nope, they're Kryptonian. Uh, she, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, man, that was that was. An I exciting. got I got Korean cu cousins. Like uh uh, my great uncle married a a, a Korean lady during mm -hmm. the conflict. So I've got legit like blood relatives that are like irish and korean and people are like that's your cousin yes why are you questioning it <laughs> yeah, that, so that's exciting you have uh and then uh but some sometimes and i feel like they they uh like they missed the boat like uh, america chavez is, i think is a it's a perfect example for me of a character that was created just to be just just as a as a ploy more than an actual character just because they they made her they made her female. She's an alien. She has power. She's LGBTQ. She's she's young. She it's like okay, just give just you know you you just like decided to to do everything with her, and and I think and I think it make it muddies down her character a little bit uh, instead of instead of really being able to focus on one thing. I know that um, Robbie Reyes is ghostwriter uh, was a missed opportunity. Uh, a couple years back when they did his series because he was so stereotypical of of what a latino in like la is and they gave him a muscle car of course because he's you know and he's taking care of when it, you know it, it's it's a it's some and to some degree it was a relatable story but at another it was just a little too stereotypical because um as a community we're a lot more than that yeah well, i hate and, the car anyways that's right i should <laughs> always be on a bike or horse and and they but the problem was that they never really um they never really went further than that as a matter of fact that book had so many cameos from so many other characters that it really it really lacked any development in character um so i i thought we were going to be able to get that through hulu with with the series unfortunately that that's when the merge happened and, and studios took over and canceled everything and we were no longer going to get him so um i'm not i just uh i'm just looking for that for, for that uh representation you know who does that who does it actually who did it really well and it's in a kid show uh i'm not sure if you're familiar with uh the loud house over at over at, i know uh, i know it i know what it is i haven't really watched it they, well they they uh they, they had some hispanic characters on there some latin characters and then what they did is that they made a spin-off show called los casa grandes which which is now a Hispanic family, but their storylines are almost the same as the Loud Houses. Some there are cultural references, but to to uh, to my delight, most of the issues and the kind of the dumb problems that they were facing were exactly the same as they would in the Loud House, and, yeah. I, and I really appreciated that because it was normalizing our you know 
our existence, our culture. We would, we didn't have, we, we, we didn't have a burrito on our forehead. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> you know, we're, uh, uh, you know, they, they always expect us to, uh, you, you know, cause you know, what's funny about America is we love celebrating other cultures holidays, but not, uh, not really recognizing them for what they are. And it's not just Cinco de Mayo. They do it, you know, they do it with... Or even our own Patrick's American Day. holidays. People don't even... Memorial <laughs> Day, even. It's like, oh, let's cook out and go to the beach. Wait, why? Yeah, yeah you don't even know what right. it's for. Veterans Day is another big one, you know? Yep. It's, it's like, it's a day off. It's like, no, it's a day. It's, it's, a, it's a very special day. Um, yeah, if there's, if there's one... I'm going to tell you one thing, Kyle. It's super off topic. If there's one thing I've enjoyed... <laughs> was is uh, I, I joined I joined the local um, Lions Club mm -hmm. there's, there's a few veterans in there and some of their stories from Vietnam and some of their experiences are are some stories that I swear dude I'm you know I'm in my late 20s at that time I'm still sitting there like a little kid with my legs crossed <laughs> listening to these guys such yeah. a, such great experiences and you can't you can't say enough about how how smart they were I learned about uh, my girlfriend's grandpa who who had to navigate ships using compasses and and yeah. <laughs> other tools and shit instead of no technology man no GPS. and they're still, they still able to map stuff out and everything i was like these dudes are were smarter than anyway back to, but <laughs> I, i'm getting way off topic um That's all right uh yeah so i i just i just wish there was there was more for us man and um I, I feel like it's coming, but uh, we're, we're going to have to, uh, I, you know, it's funny. I had an interview with uh, Manny Perez. He plays a Sicario in, in a film called Not a Sicario. And he was telling me how he feels that kind of the wave of Hispanic roles are coming because we see you, you kind of see how for a while, you know, the bad guys were, were just gangsters in LA and things like that. And then mm. it kind of switches over after 9-11 to to middle eastern and now and now hispanics are kind of getting their turn as far as you know being always portrayed as as and he feels that that the next wave is going to be more feature more high profile gigs rather than than always being the gangster or always being the um the, you know the, the yeah. stereotypical antagonist oh uh, on the the ghostwriter thing i'll say um alejandra jones by by far is like if you guys don't don't want to use uh johnny um or you don't want to use him as the star jones is her her story with like the actual like biblical adam and and you could put in johnny Bla blaze as the you know retiring ghostwriter to pass on the spirit of vengeance like and she's on a bike so yeah, sure, sure. It's a crotch rock hit. Got it. I, I'm not, a, but at least it's a b bike. Um, I liked, I liked. Uh, it was last year, I think. There was a rumor that that Marvel was looking at. Uh, when they dropped the the Robbie Reyes show from mm -hmm. Hulu, that they were looking at. Uh, Alejandra Jones and, uh, like I said, I think that that would be an out outstanding. Um. An outstanding pick but another thing that's outstanding will be this word from our sponsors grow generation which you guys should definitely check check them out in the uh links available below and let's see if this works out right i gotta get her <laughs> there we go open hey play grow generation where the pros go to grow grow generation is your one-stop shop for hydroponic grow supplies product systems, and more. Grow Generation serves customers across the nation and carries a wide inventory of renowned cultivation brands. Go to www.growgeneration.com where the pros go to grow. Yay, thank you for that. Like I say, guys, link, description, below. Click, tell them who sent you. Um, uh, yeah, man. Uh, so, so social commentary is just it's one of those those things with with fandoms and it's something you and I pointed out yesterday you know when and when and where escapism when and where you know right. social social commentary um 
uh and it, and something you p pointed out about um American Chavez which she's showing up in I think she Hulk I think it is or is it Moon Knight No 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 I think it's Miss Marvel isn't it Yeah and it, yeah Miss Marvel um oh, no actually I no it's um she's is this rumored to uh to show up in Doctor Strange Is it Doctor Strange yeah. okay um I thought she and was going to show up in a sh own show animated. Um anyways uh you you are correct about how how many boxes they tried to check and if you recall the very earliest uh uh reports on the Miles Morales character he was also not only going to be mixed African American and and Hispanic he was also going to be uh original reports now I don't know if the original you know this is years and years and years ago good decades ago most uh uh that he was also going to be you know a gay kid um and i think even like the someone in his family at one point they were going to touch on immigration as well there's a bunch of ba backlash and when the character was finally revealed it just ended up being a you know uh mixed hispanic african -Amer american kid you have, you dropped have enough there you have enough there to for a great character as we've seen you know who's a great example of where they did a good job is miss marvel <clears throat> kamala camilla clown Camilla. Ah, sorry <laughs> um try again <laughs> kamala, kamala, khan. Or kamala khan kamala khan yeah that see that's a great example of, of of just just making a character who for who she is and and keeping her her traits and everything what it should be instead of instead of trying so hard to add too too much to her character and i and i kind of wish that they would have done that with america just you know just turn it down a little bit it just there's 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 enough creativity out there to create more characters and to and to really to, to really let in some aspects of her shine instead of trying to fit them all in because you're not gonna in a, you're not gonna have time in a comic book what are you what are you gonna yeah you're, you're gonna leave I things mean, out we're down to what what how many uh panel pages are there in an average book now 14 15 maybe there? I'm not, i don't I, I haven't looked at that That's i don't know it's low it used to be like out of a what 26 27 page book you would usually get like what hmm. 1920 because you not counting the the uh title slash you know credits page yeah you usually have only four or five ad pages i think it's less now i think we're only down to like a 14 15 page average maybe anyways you're right not a lot of space and also why why does why does one character have to ch check off so many bo boxes like um it's like take take the C cw for for example they got a lot of great content they do uh really really good at making show sh sure their content is uh, uh, filled with di diverse casts and this, that, and the other. But sometimes they go so far that they almost, like in America, overcompensate. Is that the word? Word like catch up for the past? Maybe I don't know. Do you feel that might be what they're trying to do? What do you think? What do you think's going through their mind when they do something like that? Well, I think CW they they've done a fairly good job. Not uh, just them. I was oh, not ju I was throwing out an example of them as um like the uh uh as mostly good versus like you said with uh America and then how CW can sometimes look like maybe there's there's too much of say this group in this one show to where it's like. Mm, I don't know if you would have that many of this, you know, uh, demographic doing this, or I don't know if I'm wor wording it right. Anyways. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you know, I, in, in, on, uh, I, I haven't felt that way necessarily. Okay. I, I think usually uh, they're a lot more conscious and they kind of, they balance it up pretty well. I, I do think like, for example, uh, Batwoman, which has gotten horrible ratings lately. Uh, a part of it, I think has to do with, it, yeah, it's just you, you, the Batman franchise. If you don't do it right, you just lose everyone. Yeah. Um. But it, it, she's she's uh, LGBTQ, and obviously, so she's gonna have a girlfriend, and then and so you're gonna have a little bit, you're gonna have a little bit more of that topping in that show. Oh, yeah. 
which is which is fine. Uh, and then like in a Supergirl, you're going to have more of a sense of belonging and being an alien and, and trying to still be part of humanity. And then, you, you, you know, you have her sister who's also um, oh, who has that preference and it's, and it's fine uh, because it, it I don't we, we're in 2021 where. If some if somebody came, uh, I remember I, I met I met a, uh, a new friend of a friend. And for whatever reason, in the middle of the conversation, it was like, "Oh hey, uh, oh Derek, uh, did you know he's uh, he's gay?" And everyone's like, "All right, man." So, like, <laughs> like, like, what what does that have to do with anything? Like, um, that, but yeah. you know, <clears throat> you, you know, we're we're in a time where it's it's um it's it's just as as normal as saying, "I'm a guy, I'm a girl." It's like, okay, yeah, so what? Like, let's move on. Yeah. Like, it, and so that's that's a great thing about it. So when when they come out as as their a, a, a certain preference or a certain demographic whatever it doesn't it it's, it's whatever and if there's more if there's more of them on a show it it's it's just life you know it, it, it's some areas have 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 more of an of a preference than other maybe and it's it's just what it is it's, it's not a problem the problem is and it's it goes back to what we're talking about with falcon and winter soldier where they have a message to deliver and they decide that you're that they need to really shove it in your face because you're not going to because you don't understand. Yeah. I think that's where that's where I have a problem and I think where it was done for example where it was like okay we get it a supergirl was a good example of for a while it was like okay we we get it she's she's having issues with the relationships and coming out and we've we've seen that throughout a couple of seasons. You don't need to tell us uh, on top of showing yeah. us. We we can see her going through the struggles, and and by um I, and I also think that by uh, showcasing it so much, you almost uh, you don't no, you don't normalize the situation, which is something that anyone can go through. But she's particularly going through. Yeah, and and it and it's almost That's in a way insulting. You know? <clears throat> yeah, no, I I think that. I think the way you just explained it is where I was trying to, to, to get to. Um, I like that. And I was like playing, uh, uh, around with the, these topics with, with mo multiple people. Cause so many people live in, in echo ch chambers, whether by, by choice or by, by accident, you know, so some people aren't, um, the the phrase sheltered generally gets you know thrown towards pe people that weren't allowed to watch the simpsons growing up you know right. <laughs> but uh being sheltered uh in in the way you're raised to a degree i i was incredibly sheltered from the general american ch kid experience uh even the general american white kid experience my white kid army brat is different than uh, a white kid in rural Arkansas or a white kid in, in New York or, you know, some middle city in, in between. Um, so my life was in incredibly sheltered. And um, uh, I, I, I often got upset at, like, s soldiers that would get to Germany when I was there and they'd be like, oh, you know, America garbage, Europe so great. And it's like, have you been to Yosemite yet? No. No. Have you been to the Grand Canyon? No. Have you Have you been to uh, the Petrified Fort? No. Have you seen the Meteor Crater? No. You haven't seen America, dude. How can you say stuff <laughs> like that? That you know, you see a couple castles. America's got castles. Our fucking ca castles have roller coasters in them, dude. That, they're <laughs> awesome. Um, no, I I do. I think that, um, and it's it's. It's nice to see what Marvel can do, do, but it's also bad to see see what Marvel can do, um, <laughs> because like you and I have point pointed out, um, I love and can fully appreciate uh, Sam's story and and see it, but I can't uh, resonate on the same level. And there's a great line where at, in that scene that we don't necessarily like. I do like how Sam says what he says kind of in relation to this, you know, yeah, I don't get that. And you don't get th this, right? And I love that Marvel can can do that with this. And I just, 
more, more than anything, what I what I want from uh, uh, so, so, so society and and fans when it comes to things like this is um, get that everyone's experience is different. Yeah, and mm -hmm. difference isn't bad. And uh, um, it is okay to like some things and not like other things, even within a single episode of a single show. <laughs> yeah. And it's okay to, to talk about what you like and don't like, you know? It's definitely okay to have a difference of opinions too. You know, it's, it's, it's because we're all, we all grew up differently. We all have different experiences. Like you said, we, we, you know, this conversation is a, is a big indication of that because of the lens that you see Falcon in the winter soldier and the lens I see Falcon in the winter soldier, a lot different. And it, and we're, it doesn't mean either of us is wrong. It just means we both have a different interpretation of it, and that's okay. Yeah, like everything Sam does from uh, the VA uh, in in uh, Winter Soldier movie to to all of his military stuff, so I can relate to a lot of what he's uh, discussing in there. The ideas of fighting for his country despite the government not always, you know, like I said. People often, and for I guess for for those that that might not be as as up on the um, uh, American history and and the way America really really is on, on the inside, um, there's the American idea, which is that idea in the the Constitution, all men created equal, you know, equality under the law, which because humans are flawed, we know can be difficult to execute. <laughs> And then there's the the American people, and then there's the American government. So it's it's uh, very very different than other other parts of the world. And you know, I I love it. It's gr great, and I just encourage everyone to to take in as much of this content as as you can, um, with your your eyes and ears open because. What you think it might be saying, it might not. And what you think it's not saying, it might actually be be saying. <laughs> You're muted, by the way. <laughs> I don't even remember muting it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I agree with you, man. And I'll, and I'll add to what you said, though. Uh, there's no other place I'd rather live. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and, uh, that, and, that even, and that even goes to as far as California, as cringy as that might sound, man. <laughs> Because sometimes, man, it's like, oh man, I gotta get out of here, and then and then I think about it, I go, never mind. I'm, I'm, See that? I'll, I'll stay here. <laughs> that that was great about living in uh, Yuma, Arizona. Is <laughs> I was t two hours uh, down, you know, Highway Eight uh, from San Diego, almost two. I could be like on Mission Beach in two hours from nah. Yuma, so I could live for you know seven eight hundred dollars a month rent in a, in a two-bedroom apartment in yuma arizona and san diego's two hours down the road man nice yeah hey, everyone yeah. know if you guys want to know where i live in california take the state of california take your finger put it right smack dab in the middle of it that's exactly where i live <laughs> and so i am i have the privilege of being about three hours from everything, everything. i know so, exactly um, where you are <laughs> It's it's fun. It, it's kind of fun. If I want to go up north, I'm three hours away to the Bay yeah. Area. If I want to go to the coast, I'm about three hours away. If I want to go to LA, I'm about three hours away. Yeah. So uh, I'm not no complaints here. So, yeah. but yeah, man. Um, it, as far as as far as I guess filling people's cup with 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 desired content, I think fucking the Winter Soldier does a good job. A little bit more even than WandaVision did. Um, but I I still I just can't get over. I was when I was watching it. Well, I guess what well, I still caught the night last night when he's given when when he's talking. I was like, okay, well, uh, thank you. I I did not get any of that throughout the season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh man, I, I now understand exactly what was going on. Yeah, now but, I do. Thank you for. But like I said, th there were a couple people that are that are going to need that because they were so focused on only catching one thing and if that one thing didn't ha happen and i do love the fact uh that that one thing never happened but anyways um uh 
yeah, guys, uh, Manny, thank you so much for being on, as always, the co-host of LR Mornings, and, and uh, uh, only only bailed out once this week, so good job. <laughs> right, you guys, I'm going to be are... real, everyone, I was asleep. I was knocked <laughs> out. You have to understand, I, uh, the luxury oh, dude, I'm with both you. clowns have that they, they're, um, I do not. I, I get up at 6 a.m. so I can do this after being up till probably 11 or midnight. Yeah. Uh, editing interviews and watching content for the next day. Like last night, yep. I was up till midnight watching, uh, catching up on Fear the Walking Dead because I have a. They they gave me an interview at 9 p.m. last night. I got a text message Jeez. saying, "Hey, can you interview this person tomorrow?" I said, "Actually, he's on my <laughs> list." So I was like, "Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and catch up because I I've watched all of Fear the Walking Dead, right?" Yeah, because uh, it's such a great show. Season five was so good. Yeah, so I've heard it's so amazing. Good. Uh, season six is good though. I will say that they they kind of found their bearings again. Um, and anywho, so so sometimes uh, my alarm goes off and I just don't hear it. <laughs> I've been there, there, done that. Um, you guys, we are do, doing uh, uh, some uh, Disney uh, Plus Disney uh, giveaways from uh, the upcoming Cruella on our live show on Thursday. So be sure you guys are joining us best way to do that is to hit the subscribe button on the on the youtube channel uh and if you can't do that uh definitely check out the podcast network as well where all the uh videos uh get audio on only and go up but your only way to win that giveaway and we're working on some uh, uh blu-ray dvd uh well you know home video give giveaway we'll just say that that these days um, well, the and then in the future yeah and so uh check uh Check out our um our live live streams on Thursdays, uh nine thirty in the mornings and uh yeah, uh, LRM online uh dot com every day for all your entertainment news, needs and opinions. Manny, tell the good people where they can find you you at online. Find me in bed right now. I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh just to add to that, we, we really appreciate everybody <clears throat> who listens. Yes. Uh because uh honestly I don't know why anyone would listen to us, but you know. <laughs> More power to you, and, <laughs> uh, but we uh, just to kind of show our appreciation, Kyle and I have been talking about uh, doing a whole lot more giveaways. Uh, so we're working with different people to get stuff. And if not, um, Kyle has a bunch of things right behind him. That <laughs> you can start sending out. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I know I have a I have a ton of things that I get from conventions and and, uh, and promotions for different things that will be more than I'll be more than happy to share with with um, with fans because like i said kyle and i appreciate you guys uh you can find me on twitter at on at where can you find me at lrm underscore emmanuel and you can find me on instagram at riddle me this underscore five one zero and uh you guys can find me at that kyle malone on twitter i'm going to attempt to send us out with this wonderful exit video thank you guys so much for listening this week and uh like i said spoiler talk on on Monday morning about Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat and uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, as well as the uh, full discussion on, on Marvel Multiverse Mondays. Guys, thank you so much for uh, listening today. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye.